Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Erin Gifford. I have been a graphic designer for what, almost 16 years now. And I started creating um, Illustrator and Photoshop tutorials about a year, a year and a half ago. And I love bringing you new things every week. And this week is no exception. Um, this is going to be a quick tutorial, but I believe that it is something that could be useful for you in creating um, any illustration. Um, not necessarily the, the graphic design layout part of things, but creating any sort of custom vector um, icons, shapes, drawings, that kind of stuff. So we're going to talk, actually we're talking about two tools, I forgot. We're going to look at the um, eraser tool and then the knife tool because I think we did the scissor tool last week. So we're going to go over the eraser tool and the knife tool today and I'm going to, this is going to be quick, so don't blink, but um, I'm just going to start with a shape. Let's do... Let's do a star to be fun today. Um, and I'm going to hold my shift key down, click and drag so I can get a nice even star here. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, fill it with, let's do red. Let's do red today. So this actually reminds me of something. Um, when I draw a star, my, my first vision as far as artwork is like a police officer badge. But I know police officer badges always have like, it's, they usually have circles or something on the end of the tips here, which will work good for our demonstration today. Um, because if you click on the eraser tool and move your mouse out onto the sheet, you'll see that it is a circle. And as far as I know, from what I've investigated, there is no way to change the shape of your eraser. It is a circle. So we, we can, although, change the size of our eraser by using the bracket keys. So if you look on your keyboard and find the P key, um, your brackets are right next to that, and the left bracket makes it smaller, and the right bracket makes it bigger. So let's make it, eh, I'm going to guess here at this size, and let's just cut off the tips of our stars with our eraser. Just We're just going to click, and click, click. Click. And now if we do a wireframe outline with Control or Apple Y, you can see that it's gone. You can't, you know, it didn't just hide it. Um, it actually erased that and then filled in or it closed the path for us, which is really cool. So um, let's just go a step further. I'm going to make my thing bigger here. And then I'm going to click right in the middle and erase the very center. And then I'm going to make it really small because I'm going to just add some sassiness to this and we're going to do even a little smaller. We're going to scribble, 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 scribble there. So again, wireframe, you can see it's actually gone and it cuts it into individual editable, movable pieces. So that is pretty cool. Now on the flip side, um, if we do this, um, let's just move this off to the side and draw another star and use our scissors tool. The difference with, or not the scissors, the knife, um, which is in the same palette as your eraser and scissors, but all the way down to knife. Um, the difference is this doesn't actually erase anything. It just cuts your shape into pieces. So if I, let's see, if I wanted to create that same effect, I want to unselect it. If I want to cut the corners off with the knife, I'm going to have to actually draw a scoop. And then round that off, round that off, cut it. So I'm just cutting the shape into pieces. And then I can go back now and delete. So I'm going to get rid of this stroke too. I'm going to take the white stroke off. So I'm just going to do some more cutting. I want to cut, if I hold my shift key down and I drag my knife straight across here, it should cut that whole top part off. Well, it's not perfectly straight. But now this is a separate piece. I just kind of cut it off. 
So I wish the shift key would work though, um, because who's good enough to draw a straight freehand line? Ugh. So there's another piece. There's another piece. And here's another piece. Now if we look at our wireframe, we have movable pieces. So that is the knife tool. And don't forget our eraser tool artwork. So they're fairly simple to use. Um, I can't say that I use them on a daily basis, but if you're one to just create different things, um, random icons or shapes, that kind of stuff, you will probably use them more than I do. So thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to look below for the links to sign up for free tutorials delivered to your inbox every week. Um, there's also a link for one of my most popular downloads, which is the Ultimate Illustrator Resource Guide, like um, over 100 links to free tutorials, free templates, free icons. Um, I think there's even some, or no, the Photoshop one has the stock photos, but anything, any kind of Illustrator assets that you want, I organize them all onto this big PDF, so you just have to click and and go find what you're looking for. It saves a ton of time. So look for that link and until next week, keep being creative and again, thanks for joining me.